Affirmative to both. I have checked in with... Good Arctic. afternoon. You're looking at SpaceX's Starship Suborbital Test Vehicle Number 15. Countdown to flight in just under five minutes. It was almost five weeks ago we launched Starship 11 on a test flight from the adjacent Pad B. Today's flight is from Pad A. Now our demonstration objective again is with the last four flights. Slowly climb to 10 kilometer altitude, which will take about four minutes. Turning off engines on the way up as we burn off propellant mass. Once we reach 10 kilometers altitude, we will begin the horizontal descent back to the landing zone adjacent to the launch pad. If all goes well, the light three engines to flip the stage back to vertical and eventually land on a single engine. This flight includes multiple upgrades and improvements to address the findings from the rapid unplanned disassembly we experienced on the last flight. This vehicle also incorporates changes that get us closer to the orbital configuration planned for flight later. minutes uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras over the Raptor engines continuing to perform and we've got shutdown on engine 3 on time coming up on three and a half minutes into flight we're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude we'll begin to hover here we've had engine number two shut down on time We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine, and then in a little bit we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent, where hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. Just past T plus four minutes into flight, We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. We get T plus four minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. We're in the horizontal defense, descent phase now. We're passing six kilometers. A reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude. And we have ignition. Starship heading back to the landing zone. And Starbase Flight Control has confirmed, as you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. We're going through the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. 